So one of the other things I've been thinking about today is um, making myself a, a 12 volt battery out of sticks or something like that because my 12 volt lead acid is dead in the car now. Uh, so, But I also had a look around all my other stuff and I've got loads of cells kicking around from older projects. So um, I then came across these uh, 20 ampere hour A123 cells which I had kicking around. They were actually in a big block of uh, 12, uh, 12 cells, 12S. Um, so anyway, I've broken them down into uh, three blocks of four, and that's enough for three 12 volt uh, lithium batteries. So what you can see on this one here, uh, how I join these together. Uh, previously, I'm making my big lithium pack, A123 pack, I'd used, uh, I'd soldered the tabs together. I'd managed to do that, but with these, I used rivets. So each tab is joined to its neighbor with three rivets. Obviously I've drilled this one out. This is where I've just split this pack. So the negative is still connected there, as you can see, and it also had balancing wires on it. So I've used three rivets. You can actually see the outline of them there. So I've built up one of these packs and here it is now. And uh, it weighs 2.5 kilos basically. And it also has a little uh, um, monitor connected to, and this just cycles through each cell and tells us what the voltages are. Now, amazingly, these cells have been unused for at least five years or more, sat in the garage, and uh, I haven't done anything with the voltage of them. This is their actual voltage, so they're all within like 10 millivolts of each other, uh, which is amazing, really, for the amount of storage. Uh, and that's the main output there. And if I turn it on its side, uh, it's a sandwich, basically. And the reason it's in between these two um, wooden um, sheets here is uh, 9 mil ply is to compress the cells because these A123 cells do need to be compressed to stop them expanding um, and that is what we have at the moment. So I'm going to put this in the place of my 12 watt battery in the car. I'll, I'll balance it first and just give it a check but then I'll put it in the car. Uh, this doesn't have to be a permanent fixture. You can just unplug this when you uh, plug it in if you want to just check the cell voltages and uh, we'll see how it goes um, because um, 3.6 volts per cell will get us up to where we need to be. We'll be up to 12, 13, 14, 14.5 volts, something like that. And I've only got my DC to DC set at about 13.8. So it should be just within the tolerance of the cells if they remain in balance. Obviously I'll keep an eye on that. So that's where we are with those. I could have obviously used LTO as well. Uh, I didn't really want to hack apart uh, a perfectly good LTO pack at this stage. I might need a spare. You never know with the UK uh, bulk purchase if one of them turns out to be uh, bad or whatever. Um, but so repurposing the old A123 pouch cells. This is my 2.5 kilo uh, lead acid battery substitute. It's 20 ampere hours probably about 15 or 16 ampere hours useful capacity now but that should be fine i can't remember what the weight of a standard lead acid battery is but it's probably a damn sight more than two and a half kilos